Good morning, everyone. Now today we are continuing our previous lecture. Uh, we were on page 137. This is USMLE Step 1 2021 Microbiological Section, where we are discussing. We have previously discussed about the beta hemolytic streptococci that is a gram positive catalyst negative beta hemolytic streptococci which was streptococcus pyogenes and streptococcus galaxy now today we will discuss about this two bug that is a streptococcus bovis and enterococci if you remember these are the alpha hemolytic or no hemolytic zone so you can <coughs> correlate from here this diagram we are talking about the this gram positive cocci that was catalyst negative then it comes to the streptococcus group and there was alpha which have discovered the streptococcus pneumonia and streptococcus then we have the complete hemolysis fall in the beta group which which we have discussed about the streptococcus pyogenes and streptococcus agalaxy now today we are will discussing about the gamma hemolytic or no hemolytic zone so since <coughs> this group of organism that is enterococcus fischium and fecalis and non enterococcus that is group d streptococcus streptococcus bovis they falls into the group gamma hemolytic means no hemolytic they doesn't produce any hemolysis on the blood agar plate <coughs> how they can be differentiated they can be differentiated by the growth in the 6.5% NACL. The enterococcus species usually doesn't grow on 6.5% NACL, whereas the streptococcus bovis does grow in 6.5% NACL. So what happened? We have to differentiate, okay, gram positive, catalyst negative in a chain or pair. Then we have seen, okay, catalyst negative on blood agar. We have seen alpha hemolytic, complete hemolysis, no hemolysis. No hemolysis, the two groups of organisms, enterococcus and streptococcus bovis. How they can be differentiated? by the 6.5 percent NACL in this way <clears throat> with this information they will play with this information and give you a scenario and ask you a question let's go to the streptococcus bovis and enterococcus species so now we are uh, here then page 137 of the first aid USMLE so streptococcus bovis these are the gram positive that colonize the gut they are usually present in our gut itself streptococcus gallolyticus streptococcus bovis type 1 which is a type 1 variant that is named as the streptococcus gallolyticus can cause bacterium and bacteremia and subacute endocarditis so this streptococcus bovis is actually important they are responsible for subacute bacterial endocarditis so patient will suffering from from this endocarditis the severe disease patient with streptococcus bovis endocarditis have increased incidence of the colon cancer so if any person that is showing this streptococcus bovis in the blood actually this should be in intestine this is the normal flora of the intestine but by any means it has come into the blood and then attack your heart bulbs and develop the subacute endocarditis then you have to remember there must be some porous some lesion on your colon and that is usually a cancer because of that the streptococcus bovis has bites and come into the blood and then attack the heart and can develop the infective endocarditis so streptococcus bovis in blood is in almost many cases the cancer in the colon so streptococcus bovis in the blood is equal to the cancer in the colon the streptococcus bovis is a part of normal flora that is present in the colon but comes into the blood when they develop the cancer in the colon and then attack the heart and develop in subacute bacteremia and subacute endocarditis how this enterococcus and streptococcus was able to differentiate it they were non-hemolytic gamma hemolytic and this enterococcus enterococci was able to grow was not able to grow in 6.5 percent NHL, but streptococcus bovis easily grow in 6.5 percent NHL. okay now comes to the so we can differentiate streptococcus bovis from enterococci now this will grow but this doesn't will grow now talk about this enterococci enterococci are the nasty bug they are usually present in the hospital acquired infection and a lot of infection you have to deal with this enterococci so it in enterococci is very common organism in the medical setting you will find a lot of patient infection with enterococcus so it is a gram positive cocci that is enterococci it has the two enterococcus fecalis and fischium species are normal clony colonic flora that are penicillin g resistant and cause uti biliary tract infection subacute endocarditis follow GIR GU procedure. So they are actually normal flora. This is Stratocos bovis and Intrococci all are normal flora of your body. But they will they usually colonize the flora that 
they are normal colonic flora and they are usually resistant to this penicillin G so they are intrinsically resistant to penicillin G the disease that causes urine tract infection biliary tract infection as well as subacute endocarditis so if there is any surgery normally post surgical so if you are a, uh, <coughs> putting a catheter you putting a, 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 any instrument inside your, your, your ureter urethra so what will any, any instrumentation in urethra leads to the this enterococci enter into that system it may be your endoscopy ERCP that that will enter inside your blood by passing when you are uh, passing this any instrumentation going into the any gerinto urinary or gastrointestinal symptom system they will place this enterococci into the sterile site and then lead to the infection so it may lead to urine tract infection if you are going instrumentation in bladder tract they will develop the bladder tract infection and following instrumentation they bites the organisms and comes to the blood and then develop the infective endocarditis subacute infective endocarditis they are catalyzed negative we know that they are pure positive typically non-hemolytic there is a term called vre mancomycin resistant enterococci are an important cause of nosocomial infection there are the lot of enterococci which will you will found that they are develop resistant to the vancomycin and vancomycin if you talking about the gram positive infection the first line is we are treating with the penicillin but they are intrinsically resistant then there are second like we are treating with the oxacillin uh, cloxacillin dicloxacillin flucloxacillin then there are that's other is <coughs> Further we go uh, above goes ampicillin, amoxiclav, then there are other like uh, even piperacillin tazobactam, this is a penicillin group of antibiotic, then we can come to the cephalosporin group, then there are meropenums, carbapenum groups, there are a lot of this. But mainly through the gram positive, we, when we are talking about resistant groups, suppose a VRE or MRSA, this all groups become inactive. So in that case we use vancomycin for MRSA. Even vancomycin is resistant in intrococci, then there are left only few options to us. Like Linozolid and other options, so depending on the sensitivity. So, vancomycin resistant enterococci is a common and important emerging bug that is causing nosocomial infection nowadays. So, enterococci are more resilient than the streptococci, can grow in 6.5 volumes and and it's 6.5 percent NACL and bile. So enterococcus is called to intestine fecalis, fixes it is streptococcus, twisted chain, coccus is berry. So previously we have discussed that pre we have told that streptococcus bovis was unable to grow. Actually, enterococci grow in 6.5 percent NACL, but streptococcus doesn't. So this is the opposite. The initial information which we have discussed was just opposite. We have to talk that this enterococci actually grow in 6.5 percent of the NACL and bile. So they are usually able to cause this biliary tract infection. Okay, so so this information where we have talking about previously as well that. Uh, this gram positive growth in 6.5 percent they usually grows in 6.5 percent NACL that is enterococci it was previously mistake you have to correct this this is the enterococcus species that usually grow in 6.5 percent of the NACL okay so now we were enterococci so can grow in 6.5 percent NACL and bile bile enterococcus is the intestine and fecalis means feces streptococcus twisted chain coccus is buried this is just a things to remember but you have to understand that this enterococcus and streptococcus bovis these two are the organism that are responsible for they are usually part of a common co a colonic flora your normal flora but they can cause the disease enterococci normally uh, any procedural like genital urinary or gastrointestinal procedure and they develop the infection okay it is also there is a vancomycin resistant that will cause you the nosocomal infection and when you're talking about the streptococcus bovis there is if they have dealing this streptococcus bovis then there will be the scenario like patient has a colonic carcinoma or colonic carcinoma like syndrome uh, symptoms and then they have developed in infective endocarditis named the organism and you have to correlate that is they are talking about the streptococcus bovis thank you